Welcome to the Five on Five. We are so pleased today to have Dr. Monica Webby here, candidate for U.S. Senate, running against Senator Jeff Merkley. Thank you so much for being here today. Thank you, Natalie. I'm happy to be here. So the U.S. Uh, the office for U.S. Senate is just is so powerful on a national level. What were some of the contributing factors in your decision to run for this position? Well, I tell you what. What happened is that you know I'm a pediatric neurosurgeon in uh, Portland, the director of pediatric neurosurgery at a Randall Children's Hospital and every day I talk to patients and hear all of the problems that they're worried about. They're worried about their jobs, the economy, health care, their children's education and, and I would hear these over and over again and felt like something needed to be done. I've been involved in medical politics for about 30 years so I'm not a total neophyte when it comes to, to politics and policy. I've been president of our state society, the Oregon Medical Association, our county society, been involved at the national level, American Medical Association. Actually ran our tort reform campaign here back in Oregon in 2004, was chief petitioner on that, and uh, made commercials about the health care law in 2009. I've been very active for a long time. And I saw things going in a direction that were very worrisome. And um, as a mother of four children, I've got four teenagers, and was worried about the opportunities that they would have growing up, and felt that you know, really needed to get involved and try to try to make a difference. All right, very good. Dr. Webby, uh, this November, Oregon will be deciding whether or not they want to legalize recreational marijuana use. Um, this is a conundrum for a lot of states. What are your thoughts on this, being a doctor? Well, I have to say, as a pediatric neurosurgeon, I care a lot about developing brains. <laughs> and um, there, there are some problems with uh, marijuana. It does actually cause injury to the developing brain, and I am concerned about that. Uh, I, you know, this is an issue that the state's going to have to decide, but I think we may be better off if we sort of wait and see what happens in Colorado and Washington and you know, other states. Let them be the be the test case for this and, and see how it goes. Okay. On the international stage, the United States uh, has been disengaging uh, from Iraq, from the war presence there. Now it appears we may be re-engaging uh, with the use of, of some 300, maybe more military advisors on the ground there. It is a tense time overseas right now. What are your thoughts? I'm very concerned about our foreign policy or actually our lack of foreign policy. I believe that you know we are um, like it or not you know a, a peacekeeper or peacekeeper for the the world and we have that responsibility as leaders and when we back away uh, you know i'm not saying we want to put boots on the ground and be involved we certainly want to avoid that at all costs if we can but the problem is when we create a vacuum of leadership it's going to be filled by somebody and it's going to be filled by somebody who is a lot less benevolent than we are as we're seeing what's happening in in iraq now with isis or isil and with putin all of these changes that are happening when when we back away you know the the uh, saying of of um, uh, walk quietly but carry a big stick really there was some truth to that we've got to our friends have to know that they can count on us and trust us to be there and our enemies are no longer fearing us so that's a real problem for us we've got to reestablish that position of, of strength okay and and finally what would be your message to uh, our viewers here in Southern Oregon as you know you embark on this political season I think what we have to look at is the direction that the country is going and we have to ask ourselves do we feel more secure than we did uh, six years ago when uh, Senator Merkley came in as our senator do we think things are going in the right direction his answer to everything is is a big massive federal bureaucracy more taxes more government is the answer to everything and and things have not been going well for us with the economy with jobs I think we need a new approach get back to what our country was founded on our independent spirit here in Oregon more trust in the individual more freedom to be who you want to be. Get back to dreaming big again. I think we can do that. Dr. Monica Webby, thank you so much for joining us here tonight and candidate for U.S. Senate running against Senator Jeff Merkley. Thank you so much, Natalie. We'll be right back.